Debit card. 1. Source of funds. A debit card is linked to your checking or savings account, and the funds used for transactions are deducted directly from your account. 2. Spending limit. Your spending limit is determined by the amount of money available in your linked bank account. 3. Borrowing. You are not borrowing money when you use a debit card. You are spending your own funds. For interest, debit card transactions do not accumulate interest charges because you are using your own money. 5. Credit score. Debit card usage does not impact your credit score since there is no credit involved. 6. Monthly statements. Debit card transactions are reflected in your bank statements. Credit card. 1. Source of funds. A credit card allows you to borrow money up to a set credit limit. The funds used in transactions are essentially a short-term loan from the card issuer. 2. Spending limit. Your spending limit is determined by the credit card company and is not tied to your bank account balance. 3. Borrowing. When you use a credit card, you are essentially borrowing money that you need to repay later typically on a monthly basis. 4. Interest. If you don't pay your credit card balance in full each month, you'll accrue interest on the outstanding balance. Credit cards have APR, annual percentage rate, associated with them. 5. Credit score. Your credit card activity, including timely payments and credit utilization, can impact your credit score, either positively or negatively. 6. Monthly statements. Credit card transactions are listed on your credit card statement and you'll need to make at least a minimum payment each month. 5. Credit score. Your credit card activity, including timely payments and credit utilization, can impact your credit score, either positively or negatively. 6. Monthly statements. Credit card transactions are listed on your credit card statement and you'll need to make at least a minimum payment each month. Additionally, credit card usage can affect your credit score, while debit card usage does not.